So while I work on my Ghost Recon Wildlands Narco Road DLC review, I thought I would uh, get my chops up a little bit by talking about my verdict after coming back to Black Ops 2. The only reason I'm making a video on this and not World at War or Black Ops is because Black Ops 2 has such a following around it. It's considered a two and by some people a three year Call of Duty. Even when it wasn't backwards compatible, you could find matches relatively easily. Now here's my totally biased subjective opinion that's gonna piss some people off, but I think one of the reasons it's so popular is that it's so predictable. You know where everybody's gonna be. The lanes, the power positions, the head glitches, the cover, everything. It's super predictable. Player prediction in that game is really, really easy. Almost nothing will throw you for a loop in a match with Black Ops 2. And that really caters to pub stompers when it comes to controlling the map, which really just means pinning people in their spawn all game without any ability for counterplay. And I'm not just phrasing this as a bad thing, but I feel like that's a big reason that it's popular. So let's talk about the connection on the Xbox One version of Black Ops 2, the backwards compatible version, because that's what I play. Um, some people are saying that the Xbox One runs way worse than the 360, and some people that reviewed it said it's the best way to play it if you're going to play it on console. I personally don't really notice a difference in terms of connection quality. I think what a lot of people forget is that Black Ops 2 and old CODs are super inconsistent. You get into a game with a bad host, and your entire gameplay experience can be ruined. Some people thought that I was having terrible connection in Black Ops 2 because of my Black Ops 2 is the best COD game ever video where I was just kind of raging at some random Black Ops 2 moments. Some of those issues were lag, but that's not really to do with the game uh, in the sense like it's not running well on the Xbox One or anything. It's just, you know, bad hosts and that's what comes out of bad hosts. So I think the game runs fine and I definitely know that it loads maps faster on Xbox One than 360 and that's probably just because of the faster hard drive. So the player base, how are people playing Black Ops 2 now that it's been like, what, five years? It's still pretty much all the same, and I, of course the game hasn't changed, so why would the player base? People love to blame the player base for all of COD's bullshittery, whether people are mad at corner campers, C4 sandwiches, or quickscoping. People usually blame the immature, childish COD fan base. I say that in a smug, sarcastic, snarky tone because it's kind of a moronic statement. Obviously, people are going to use the bullshit that the game allows, and Black Ops 2 definitely caters towards camping, throwing C4 over way too long of distances, quick scoping people that should have the gunfight won because they're using the proper weapon for the engagement, so on and such forth. Shock Charge Bouncing Betty reminds me, oh, that's right, I need to run either Engineer or Tack Mask because this exists. But anyway, people still pretty much play the same way. They go to the same power positions, of course. They use the same head glitches, of course. They use the same overpowered weapon setups, of course. They use trick shotting, or what did I say? Trick shotting, what am I, some kind of normie? Quick scoping. You know, it's a legitimate tactic. It doesn't matter that Call of Duty developers even called it a glitch and <laughs> No, quick scoping is not a legitimate tactic. The, the developers never intended for you to be able to run up on an opponent with a bolt action scoped rifle and take somebody out if they're shooting first with an assault rifle. Okay, that was never the intention. That came from the fact that the time to kill in Black Ops 2 definitely feels longer, and also the fact that toughness exists. If there was a lot of flinch in this game, then it might not be as big of an issue, but all you need is toughness, dexterity, and a ballista or a DSR to run up on somebody and use the rifle for the exact wrong range that kind of rifle should be used. They tried nerfing the DSR, just the DSR. I think they changed the sprint out time on it or maybe the aim down sight time after sprint out or the aim assist, I forget exactly what they tweaked, but they got death threats. So many death threats. Vondahar got more bodyguards because of the death threats from snipers. So message any snipers watching this video. Doesn't matter what I say, Five years later, the game still has completely imbalanced sniping, so does Modern Warfare 3, so does Modern Warfare 2, so does COD 4 and Modern Warfare Remastered. You have your safe havens to break the game in the ways you see fit, but it is a broken mechanic. I don't like approaching a sniper with an, well, I have an SMG, pulling up my gun, starting to shoot first, getting hit marker, hit marker, and then quick scoped, as if they're using a shotgun. The shotguns in this game get complained about a lot, and for good reason, they are frustrating, but at the same time, the shotguns are being used how they're meant to be used. They get up close, they destroy you. Okay, makes sense. Frustrating, but makes sense. Uh, sniper rifles, get up close, still destroy you. That's great. And nobody's running around with an iron-sided ballista, and 
No, of course not. It's Call of Duty, so the scoped, no recoil, one shot kill weapons are great across the map or right up in your face. It's really fun. Really love that. I have flashed somebody and while they're being flashed, they're able to hit me because the aim assist, the, the, the just drag scoping somebody works so well. The people that took five years to master quick scoping, I can't really applaud you because that is a lot of games you probably missed out on playing so that you could, you know, use a really broken, cheesy, cringy mechanic. The one cool thing about this is that a lot of people still try to quickscope even if they're not really good at it, because it is something you have to learn. That's always something people argue about. You have to learn how to do it. Yeah, of course, you have to learn how, you have to, learn how to do glitches too. Like, uh, in some games I used to play, and I think even in Advanced Warfare, you could like glitch, yeah, it was Advanced Warfare. You could glitch into walls and glitch inside of the map. So it's like, yeah. You had to learn how to do that too, doesn't fucking matter. Either way, some people haven't taken the time to master the art of bullshit scoping people, so they do, you know, run at you with a sniper rifle, miss their shot, and then equal an easy kill for you. Unless you're using the wrong weapon and they're just at that wrong range for your weapon. I had an engagement like this with the MP7. Somebody was just outside of the range of my suppressed MP7. They fired and missed. I got one hit on them out of my spray, and then they took me out. Should I have gotten good? Maybe, but at the same time, snipers, man. Goddamn snipers. So, how about the game and how it runs? Like, I don't know what to say how it runs. I guess how it plays in general, nothing to do with players. How does it feel to run around the maps and mantle things and, and shoot your guns? I think it's actually really cool. I, I think it's cool how well that game has aged. It feels way more modern than I remembered it. It's got a lot of cool animations, you, your character moves relatively quickly, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Some people are having input lag problems with it on the Xbox One, but I haven't had any of those input lag problems. Graphically, the game actually holds up pretty well, I, I enjoy looking at it. The resolution's obviously lowered, but it's still in a very, very attractive game. I say it looks like a more stable game than Black Ops 3. When it comes to playing a Call of Duty on Xbox One, I think Black Ops 2 looks and runs more stable than Black Ops 3. Just in my experience, just in my experience, I could even, I haven't even really played Black Ops 3 that much recently, so, you know, maybe if I went and hopped on it now after playing Black Ops 2 recently, I might change my mind, but I don't know, I remember th thinking this to myself, like, I expect this to run like mud, but it actually runs okay. So what is my verdict? It's a fun game. It's a fun way to blow off a couple of hours, and I've been playing it a lot recently, and I do enjoy it. I don't want that to be misconstrued at all. I love Black Ops 2. But, there's so much garbage in it. There is so much bullshit in it. It's impossible to ignore target finder LMGs, MMS scanner SWAT, that's an under, that's a not very well known one that the SWAT 556 has LMG penetration, put an MMS scanner on it, and your corners are no longer safe, and I've gotten wall banged by that a couple times. I guess that one takes more skill than throwing C4 halfway across the map or getting constantly EMP spammed, and you don't want to run hardwired because then you can't have scavenger and fast hands, alongside of the also necessary toughness. And I still think awareness and dead silence in the game are pretty much useless and you should stick to dexterity and tack mask or dexterity and engineer or dexterity and anything that keeps you from getting blown the fuck up. I hate how many crutch perks are in this game, but I can get over it because of its age. If a new Call of Duty came out and had all these perks that I just felt like I had to put on every class, like all of my Black Ops 2 classes maybe have a one to two perk difference and that's really unfortunate to me. And a lot of crutch attachments, such as quick draw being super drastic, same with stock. And then weird stuff like the fact that the foregrip barely does anything, it just reduces a little bit of center speed. The selector switch is a cool idea, and I think it should just be implemented into the base game of Call of Duty, but it was it's it's kind of a cool idea that you can take the SWAT 556 and make a full auto, or take a uh, burst gun, like the full auto AN-94 and turn it into a two round burst. That's kind of a, okay, that's a cool idea. Overall, not really viable, but definitely cool for diversity's sake, and it's fun to play around with in private matches, and I'm always game for that kind of stuff. The game runs better than I remember, and I can ignore the bullshit because of the game's age. Main point there is because of the game's age. Now, let me say something that's true, but not really going to be popular. I think Infinite Warfare, even Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghosts are all better than Black Ops 2. We've come a long way with connections and hit detection. And in that list there, I named two games that I hate, but on a technical level, they are better than Black Ops 2. 
If you played Black Ops 2 for the last five years, more power to you. You missed out on a lot of fun games way outside of Call of Duty. Call of Duty's had some real stinkers, and if you were playing Black Ops 2 during those, congratulations, you dodged a damn bullet. My friend once said, the best CODs are also the more broken CODs, and I do agree with that. I think the CODs that allow you to BS your friends and people and give you those things to go, oh my god, he's using that? I don't know. There's something about that that's like, good bad. And I, I always will look back on old CODs with fondness. I don't want new Call of Duties or any new shooter to go back and try to be bullshitty just to trigger that sort of nostalgia. I like it because it's the past. If it was the future, I'd be upset. But because it was the past, it's fun to go back to, it's fun to play around with it. If you were thinking about buying Black Ops 2 because you remember liking it and now it's backwards compatible, or maybe you just see people on the Xbox One enjoying it, maybe you want to get it on, P on PC or PS3, I'd say give it a go. It's a fun game, it's a fun shooter, and it has a lot of high points. Most of the high points you'll hear from Pub Stompers are that, hey, it's competitive, hey, it's skill-based, hey, there's a skill gap, and what they're saying is the maps are super simple, and you basically have to run your classes this way, so there's nothing unpredictable to knock me off my streak, and then I can't get good gameplays, and that means the COD is bad. Let's face it, come on. That's, that's it, guys. You guys wonder if people want old COD back? Okay, because it makes it way easier. Like, way easier. Go back and play like an old COD and try your ass off. It is so much easier. Can you imagine if a game came out as predictable and repetitive as Black Ops 2, but with today's hit detection? Oh my god, pub stompers would run wild, spawn trapping people, taking that, yeah, that average Joe trying to enjoy a video game in the evening, fuck you, I'm pinning you in your spawn with, you know, fucking hailfire of streaks. Yeah, this is how Call of Duty is meant to be played. I don't play any other games but COD, so this is good game now, ha! As long as the game allows me to succeed, it's a good game. If the game challenges me or gives me things that are unpredictable, it's fundamentally broken and I will not play it. I turned into Obama there at the second, now I'm just being stupid. What the fuck? I'll leave that in. I don't know. It's late and I record and then it just comes off garbage. So, my verdict, Black Ops 2 is fun. I recommend trying it out again uh, and picking it up if you, if you remember having fun with it. But there is bullshit. There is more lag than the newer CODs. There is more lag than newer shooters. It is fundamentally fun, broken game, and it's hard to ignore that. So, anyway, enough about this game. This wonderful game that has diversity that's mostly unusable. And, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just end the video here. Almost 13 minutes session on a game that came out five years ago. This channel is going places. Okay, well, alright, I'm not gonna win PewDiePie shoutout contest doing this shit. Either way, I'll see you when I see you.